Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to the video. Day two of the Bivouac. Last night was great. We slept right near the water. We could hear it all night. I loved it. I'll show you the spot we were camping and then we're gonna go have some breakfast. Really, you could hardly tell we're there. Just hiding in here. Isn't that such a cool spot? Came back up to this little shack. Gonna have some breakfast in here. Carly, would you like to show everyone what's for breakfast? Mm, yes. I'm having a peanut butter tortilla with some biscuits. Give us a good look at it. it. <laughs> <laughs> such a good look. <laughs> and knives having trash. <laughs> I'm having oats with banana. Oh, my spoon dropped in there. Damn it. Awkward. Uh, raisins, sugar, and jam. So let us know who's got the better breakfast in the comments. What a way to wake up. Just look at this view. It's gonna be a good day, I know it. Take a look at the waves down there. There's some big ones rolling in. Wow. Let's look at this, where we've come from. We've just kind of come out of this bush and then back out. We kind of dip in and out from the coast. We're right close to those cliffs now. We're not sure where the trail is going to take us. There's a lot of power in those waves down there. This is a good example of the experience once we're coming off the coast. Trudging through. Coming out of the bush again. To the view. Planning on having lunch at the next hut. And then continuing on to the Torbay hut. Looks like we're going to be going up again. This morning's been a lot of undulating trail. My legs are feeling pretty good considering it's only my second day of and doing any hiking with a backpack like this. So I'm counting my blessings really. My back feels really good. It's funny there was a lookout about 100 meters back that we just went past. I had a feeling there was no need to go to it because immediately you end up with this kind of view. How good are these trails? It's quite easy walking on the sand too. And you just come out you get to see this. All right, we made it to the hut. Let's go check it out. The Mussenbird campsite hut. Fantastic. How great are these facilities? It's nice that no one's here too. So we might have an early lunch here, guys. So we've exploded out into the hut here, as you can see. Carly's over there cooking some lentils, and I've cooked up three pouches of instant noodles oh, i had the bag i don't know where i put it tom yum i think bon appetit guys for an early lunch all right back out after lunch look at this view we've got here we just saw a tiger snake go across the trail which was cool so from that last hut where we had lunch we have about seven miles to get to torbay hut we figure we'll be there around five o'clock our first inlet crossing is slowly creeping up on us. I'm pretty excited to show you that. What a good view we've got. Making our way down to the beach, maybe? We are both listening to a podcast right now. Carly has a set of Apple AirPods. One of that video feel here, but it's so windy. Look at this amazing view of the beach down here. That little rock island over there. Oh man, my body really feels the stairs, I'll be honest. Going down beats going up though. Oh, look at the pup inside. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. They're not too intimidating really, are they? Well, who needs shoes, I guess. We're walking on the beach for now. That's awesome. Well, as it turns out, this is Torbay Inlet right here. So it's most certainly a sandbar. Walking along this is a little difficult. Carly just pointed out that it's raining in the distance on the left there. So we might see some rain ourselves. Find this beach walking quite difficult. No shoes on the sand and it's just, uh, it feels a lot different. You can just see the wind farms way over in the distance. Crazy we walked from way over there. Straight into a storm. Whoa! That wind is strong. Whoa! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
All right, everyone, so the bib actually takes you up that way to take you around these rocks, but for some reason, the website says not to go this way, but we think it's because maybe the most people that bike the trail are over 60. So we're just gonna go over the rocks. I just know that right around here, the wind's gonna, ah, damn it. I just know the wind's gonna pick up as soon as I come around here. But it's nice little protection just right in here. Oh, I'm getting wet, okay. That little part over those rocks was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Carly's lost a water bottle, so she's one liter down. But to be fair, we're not even taking full bottles. I think I had two liters, she had two liters for this part. I don't think I've even used a liter yet. Well, that got pretty crazy for a minute there. It was raining heavy. And, uh, oh, I can't get my hat up. It's so windy. We just threw our jackets on and just kept trudging through it. It feels really funny too, because we're barefoot. All right, so we were lucky enough to find a little shelter. <laughs> Toilet seat just popped in. Uh, yeah, it's just some toilet in some parking lot right up on the beach. The bib takes us off the coast now, or at least off the beach. So we might be sheltered a little bit by trees, who knows. I'm soaked, like completely soaked. Carly's got this little rain dress on, skirt on. <laughs> I want one, because it's super convenient to throw on when you're hiking. I just got my bag in the sink there. <laughs> Where's yours? Outside. Oh jeez, but that's undercover though. This is what it looks like out here. We're going that direction. Okay, the rain stopped. We're back on trail. We might get lucky, you never know. Maybe it holds off for the next 40 minutes. It's as long as it's gonna take to get to the next hut. Good luck getting up all these. Wow, we came from so far over there. I just cannot believe it. What a great view. Okay, shall we? Let's go. Lead the way. And right off the beach, it's a surprise when we come into some forest we haven't really seen before. So we're trying to set a bit of a pace now. The rain's eased off and we're not far from the hut, so I want to get there before it rains again. All right, we made it to the Torbay hut and we've dried off, cleaned up a bit and we've cooked some food up. I'll show you what it is. It's something else that's special, not something I've had before on trail. It's like a cheesy pasta sauce. All that stuff is drying up the top. It's not ours there though. We're gonna go eat at the viewpoint. So, what we have is pasta with this cheesy sauce. Doesn't that look so good? She's adding a little sriracha in. And then the vegan mayo that you've already seen. It is so yum. And I don't know if I've shown you this, I made this, well, Carly made it actually. It's an insulated pot cover thing that we can use to help keep food warm and also to make it so there's less cooking time. And we've got a little top and bottom we have on it as well. Wait till you see this view here. And this is the view from the Torbay hut. Spectacular, huh? Actually, it's the view from the viewpoint on top of the table, but still, <laughs> it's fantastic. Guys, I'm half Italian. You've seen the shirt I wear. And look how I cooked this pasta. It's literally like one thick glob. What do you call this type we cook? Angel hair. Angel hair. And I guess my thinking was, oh, you know, it'll be fine. Ten minutes, I'll go, I'll go get changed. Come back to just it being one melted mess. Okay, so we've decided we're going to set the tent up. There is no more rain forecast tonight. There's actually phone service up the top uh, where that viewpoint is and a little picnic table. So we're going to have some more privacy since there's three other people in the hut. All right, we have set our tent up and I'm going to finish up the video there. Not 100% sure where we're going to end up tomorrow, so make sure you tune in to find out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you then.